Now go. Hey guys, welcome back to Total Justice Gaming. This is Joey. We're going to go over a uh, new variant of the, uh, the Thor deck. Thank you, Fuller. Um, we're going to... It's changed a good bit since uh, the last time I've ever posted one of these, so here we go. Obviously, Athora Quint Quintessence is still the buddy, so you max out the buddy. Quintessence is still the best Athora in the game. Very good. Um, if you don't know what it does, it's uh, you can't take you can't take effect damage. Can't be destroyed by card effects. Double attack, soul guard. Just very good defensive card. If it's a ball, your main guy. Now to a new card, new Ur card. Dark Black Crystal Dragon Athora. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, uh, Dark Dragon Crystal Thora, um, really good. It could be, you know, the only difference between it and the um, original Thora is it, it, this one can be destroyed by card effects, but you can't take damage, effect damage with them on the field. It's double attack, soul guard. Um, when he is destroyed, which it is uh, pretty sure. Yes, when this card is destroyed at any point, once per turn, um, you can uh, ping your opponent for one damage and they discard a card from hand. And that discard a card from hand can be very uh, game breaking at times. So, good card is good. Back to an old original, uh, Green Crystal Dragon, Sheldre. I mean, when you attack, you have seven more life, which is not hard to do. When he attacks, destroy a monster in your opponent's field, double attack, soul guard. Still really good. And every time he's destroyed, you gain a life. So, I mean, gaining, or, you know, gaining life is good in this game, so. Another good grade, uh, size three, sorry. Um, is this? That nullifies Or it's mispronounced his name, Spiritus. Um, being able to uh, just call him and ping your opponent for two damage. It's really good. Uh, Fuller said, Mamba says it's booty. Um, comment down below whether you think this card is booty or not. Oh, no, that card's dope. I was saying you said booty. I thought that was funny. I just repeated it. Ah. Uh, still, comment or not. I mean, I'm leaving you with one. Um, last uh, size three, well, arguably a size three or not, is uh, Chartreuse. Um, Chartreuse is a you know, 626 big beater. That can if you have a, uh, another size three in your center, Crystal. Or a Prism Dragon, you can uh, he turns to a zero, and once per turn when you're attacked, if he's still on the field, you uh, ping your opponent for one damage, which is very good. Um, burn damage in this deck is actually uh, <laughs> becoming a lot more forefront. Slowly dwindle your opponent down and uh, finish him off with your impact. So, just a good another way to do that. On to another to size ones. First time I played size one in this deck, uh, Kanata. Um, when you link attack with a size, when you link attack with them, you uh, gain a life and then deal a damage um, to your uh, opponent. So uh, and also, if you have a size th have a size three or greater on your uh, monster on your center, he becomes a zero. So obviously. And then to your last uh, monster, Dark Side Zero uh, Mural. It's a very good card um, when it's just when an effect activates on himself too. Um, when he's destroyed or another effect, is, you know, monster is destroyed during your opponent's turn. Um, gauge and draw. Um, I've always said in this every almost every deck profile I've ever said deck thinning is deck winning. So being able to uh, thin your deck out, get hand advantage, um, get gauge advantage on your opponent, just very good, very good all around card. That's it for the monsters. Um, going on to uh, spells. We've gone down on this though. We, uh, uh, we've gone down to uh, three enhancements now. Um, get, get a gauge, and then if you have a size three in your center, um, draw a card. Once per turn. This is very good. Uh, and then we have a uh, three star jack boost. Pretty much the same thing, almost the same thing as enhancement. If you have seven or more life, which is very easy to do in this deck, um, um, gauge and draw, and of course, jack boost once per turn. 
So one, two, three. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, 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 five. And then we go on to uh, three for some relics. Um, you're gonna have a sometimes you're gonna have a surplus of uh, size threes that you don't need in your hand um, in the stack, and that does stink. So um, being able to turn that size three into a three gauge and a draw and a life is really good. So yeah, call cost you have cast cost to start size three. Prism Dragon from your hand. Uh, top three gauge to your top three cards from your deck to your gauge. Gain a life, draw a card. I mean, just. Good card's good. Um, now to the defensive spells, we still run uh, four radiant shells. Um, pay gauge, nullify the attack, and deal the damage to your opponent. Just slowly dwindle, dwindle your opponent down, just bit by bit, which is, you know, Thora. Defense and burn, so good. Still four brush upper. Um, Brush Upper is, I mean, just uh, being able to uh, prevent a Prism Dragon, doesn't say monster, a Prism Dragon on your field from being destroyed. And then if you have six more life gaining a gauge, I mean, that's just good stuff. Good multi purpose defensive card because um, you can actually, if they decide to pop your, uh, your item, as long as your item's a uh, Prism Dragon, you can actually cast this and prevent your item being destroyed. So. So multi-purpose, multi-purpose cards and decks are always really good. <laughs> then we go uh, four additional jewel. Um, additional jewels just really good. Of being able to, uh, you're already very high in defense with a, uh, you know, your Thoras. Mostly you be your guy on the center having no, no, 7,000 defense. And if you have your item, depending on what item you use, uh, you know, even more defense, you know, 8 or even 9 defense. Giving it plus 5 defense and counterattack is just really good, very defensive. Um, stops unyielding bots in his tracks. Even though you don't get the counterattack against that unyielding bots, you still, he still can't get over. Not, most of the time, can't get over your uh, Athor and just stops their whole push. Then our final spell, um, two Prism Interrupt. I only play two in this deck because the thing is, I'm playing a lot of Athora. Athora is very um, gauge heavy. Not arguing this card is a good card, because this card is actually a great card. Just, um, it was either run three of this and, uh, either, it was either run three of this and, uh, Two prism relics or three prism relics and two prism interrupts, and I chose the three prism relics because I wasn't seeing this enough anymore. And as opposed to this, and while well, seeing this too much, and this was becoming dead card in hand, especially when I was running low on gauge, which can happen at times. But that's what prism relic, Jackstar boost, and enhancement are for, and that's why you run a surplus of those cards. On my server, on my Christian server. Anyway, um, now to your items. Still running a crystal spike. I mean, being able to have your uh, not have your abilities nullified, very good, very good against star. Um, plus two, plus two to um, your guy in the center. Still really good. So your Thor's becoming nine nine. A lot of a lot of cards can't get over that. And they can just they'll have the link attack. And a lot, of, you know, like a uh, Purgatory Knights will have the link attack issue, and that's not what Purgatory Knights want to do. They never want to link attack, never. so it push it, so it makes a. This, this is definitely a Purgatory Knights uh, nightmare. It is, um, and the fact that um, after they attack, you still have that Thor in your center. We need to make they, uh, make peel a you ding a damage as well. In a video where I even am speaking in a video. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and also this uh this video apparently has been, been sponsored by try and learn how to do it. Sponsored by the Mamba. Yeah, always good. Is that like a snake crawling around the buddy fight card? Anyway, um then last card. Striking Shadow Mamba. For obvious reasons. Cristiano Crystal Shoot. You're a three impact. Um <laughs> Not much I can say more about this card. You know, can't be. It's un literally parentheses unrevivable. Once you play it, unless they can um, gain life, counter and gain life, you have the game. Um, 
and only for two gauge and uh, during your opponent's final phase. It's always fun, uh, especially uh, people that don't have never played this deck, which is, you know, well, for a while was a lot of people, now not so much. When you uh, pop this on their uh, final phase, the look on their face is always pretty fun. Um, just, I mean, four damage, unreviable, solid card. All right, guys, and that's it for the main deck. Um, side deck, I'm still tweaking. Um, one card I actually, I'm still thinking of that I have put in my side deck, but I still haven't um, made a um, complete card is uh, the new Frill. Um, I feel that this card is actually really good against the mirror match. Just being able to making it um, harder for them to get over your stuff, and when it's destroyed, you gain a life and a gauge, which they have to destroy. You know, he makes your opponent have to destroy this card, but they don't want to because giving your opponent life and gauge is not something you you want to do lightly. But I don't know if I want to main this yet. Or side, uh, it's definitely in my side deck, and I still don't know how much uh, I want to side. Very good defensive card. Um, very good at um, very good at stalling out, which is what this deck this whole thing is about: stalling out, burning your opponent, and um, eventually just impacting them for game. But that's it. That's it for this, um, guys. Just a door. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, and thank you for watching.